day, my dear learners. I am Hazel Joy de la Cruz, your science teacher. Get ready for another wonderful, exciting, and informative day as we explore the world of science. Our lesson for today is all about the interaction among living things and non-living things in tropical rainforests. Can you still remember what is ecosystem? Let's have a recap. Ecosystem is any place where plants, animals, and other organisms, as well as weather and landscape, work together to form a bubble of life. As we have discussed before, ecosystem contain biotic or living things, as well as abiotic or non-living things. Now, let us classify the following components if it is living things or non-living things. Are you ready? These are the things that you will classify. Stone, tree, grass, soil, butterfly. Now, let us see how many correct answers you will get. For number one, stone. Is it living thing or non-living thing? If your answer is non-living thing, you're right! For number two, three. Is it living thing or non-living thing? If your answer is living thing, you're right! For number three, grass. Is it living thing or non-living thing? If your answer is living thing, you're right! For number four, soil. Is it living thing or non-living thing? If your answer is non-living thing, you're right! For number 5, butterfly. Is it living thing or non-living thing? If your answer is living thing, you're correct! Amazing! So there are various interactions that takes place in an ecosystem. Look at this picture. This is an example of ecosystem. Yes, this is an example of tropical rainforest ecosystem where living things and non-living things interact with each other. This interaction enables the survival of living things and affects non-living things. As you can see, there are living things and non-living things in a tropical rainforest. They are the plants, animals, trees, water, stones, soil, and many more. Now, take a look at this video. What happened to the tree? As you can see, the tree is not harmed when the ferns or orchids are attached to it. The interaction between the fern or orchid and the tree is called commensalism. Commensalism is an association between two organisms in which one benefits and the other derives neither benefit nor harm. Another example is the cattle egrets. Cattle egrets eat the insects stirred up by the cattle when grazing. Let us take a look at this video. What does the interaction of the bee and the flower implies? The bee benefits from the flower because it can get nectar from it, while the flower benefits from the bee because as the bee moves to another flower to reproduce, so the interaction between the bee the flower is called mutualism. Mutualism is a relationship in which both species are mutually benefited. Let us take a look at this video. The grass, shrubs, flowers, and trees grow together in one area where they compete for the source of food, sunlight, soil nutrients, and other things needed for their survival. This interaction is called competition. Competition is an interaction between organism or species in which both require a resource that is in limited supply. In the rainforest, many of the big cats, such as tigers, jaguars, and leopards, all compete for food that includes small mammals. Let us see if you really understand the lesson. 
you are going to identify what interaction is being shown in the picture. Are you ready? If yes, let's start! Number 1. The bee and the flower If your answer is mutualism, you are right! Number 2. A bird making a nest in a tree If your answer is commensalism, you are right! Number 3. Two deer are fighting with each other because of food. If your answer is competition, you are right! In order for you to master our lesson for today, I have prepared another activity wherein you will choose the right answer on the given choices. Are you ready? It seems you are. So let's start! Number 1. A relationship between two organisms in which both organisms benefit. A. Mutualism B. Competition C. Parasitism If your answer is mutualism, you are right! Number 2. Two male giraffes are fighting over the last green leaf on a tree that is dying. A. Mutualism B. Competition C. Parasitism If your answer is competition, you are right! Number 3 a relationship between two organisms in which one organism benefits and the other is unharmed. A. Mutualism B. Competition C. Commensalism If your answer is commensalism, you are right! Number 4. Human birds feed on nectar from flowers. The flowers are pollinated by human birds as they move from flower to flower. What type of interaction is this? A. Mutualism B. Competition C. Commensalism If your answer is mutualism, you are correct! Number 5 this happens when organisms try to get the same resources. A. Mutualism B. Competition C. Commensalism If your answer is competition, you are right! Keep in mind the following big ideas in our lesson for today. Commensalism is an association between two organisms in which one benefits and the other derives neither benefit nor harm. Mutualism is a relationship in which both species are mutually benefited. Competition is an interaction between organisms or species in which both require a resource that is in limited supply. You've reached the end of our lesson. We are able to discuss the interaction among living things and non-living things in tropical rainforests. I hope you learned something today. Again, this is your science teacher, Miss Hazel Joy de la Cruz, saying, Together, let us explore the world of science. Good day and God bless us all.